Well, the world's best surfers love to travel. They're all down here in beautiful South Africa. If you're just joining us, it is lunchtime on the east coast of the continent. It's a good afternoon from Gig Salias, now joined by Scotty Turnbull. Back in the booth as we break down another heat for you at the Belito Pro. And wasting no time, this is the South African interest in the heat. The beach will be on their feet. Even though it's windy and blustery, it's warm. There are plenty of people down, thousands of people flocking down for the weekend's action to the coast. Two more to go as we chop the field in half. It is the qualifying series. Four-man heat sees two advance and T fall away each time. Surfing very strongly yesterday in day four was Marco Giorgi. You just may see him on screen at the Uruguayan. Already competed in six or seven events. Well, that manly event wasn't an easy one. Small beach break conditions. This is more powerful for Marco Giorgi in Belito. And he's responding nicely to it. Picking up again very quickly on wave opportunities here is the Uruguayan. Well, you had a good yarn with uh, local surfer Mike Frew here to represent the O'Neill brand. Oh, and representing. Here's Davy Van Sale. This is the surfer from Amschlange Rocks. It's a couple of towns down south of beautiful Belito here. And so plenty of support on the beach for that man. And Davy Van Sale, second wave in now. He's open a little bit of a flat score, 217. And quickly back to the lineup goes the South African. And it was one of the most horrible sights I've ever seen. It was <laughs> dead flat. It was choppy. And uh, Commissioner Travis Logie just said, just hang on. Let's just let the tide go out. We've got news from former championship tour surfer Royden Bryson about two hours south on the coast. You guys know all the sort of conditions and what's going to present? Well, of course, uh, local surfboard shaper John O'Hutchinson playing a big part in making these calls here. And that is a big rip on the face for O'Neill Mason. And O'Neill through to the inside. Course. I don't know many people with the first name, O'Neill. That we can tell you, no one knows that story better than Jesse Mendes, who we almost cue in now to finally get to his feet. Jesse, two-turn combo. We saw Pupo flowing effortlessly on the backhand for easy numbers in the last heat. Jesse Mendes is going to tear a little page now out of Miguel Pupo's book. Yeah, that was awesome. And good stuff there from the championship to a surfer who will be just keeping it all crisp and sharp. Here's that opener of Jesse. All right, so let's pick up on it. He squares this one up. A little lip line float. It comes from behind the section. Really just a foam climb there. Just a carve to get him going. Yeah, okay. No, fair enough. Jesse Mendes doing double duty here in South Africa. And a little flurry over the ledge there. He, You'll see O'Neill Masson has got second. Davies has been given third. What's happening is... The guys down the beach are getting out past backline and getting those priority, even though they're not at the traditional takeoff spot. Well, here's Davy Van Sale down the beach. He's drifted a little bit, but he's picked up a runner. Getting a couple of hits there, a little hack. Not getting a lot of height into that white water as it was oncoming. Play of that, I'm just looking at O'Neill Masson's as well, a 5.1. So at this stage, prior to Jesse's, he's got the highest score of this heat. Well, guess what? As we speculate all that, Jesse Mendes' all little second ride. Meanwhile, Marco Giorgi, a 4-6-7 down the line. We're going to see how all of this compares to the first wave of greens when they do bring it to us, Jesse Mendes. Marco Giorgi, a 4-6-7. That there was wave number four for Marco Giorgi. So they're not shifting too far. Meanwhile, all the points are coming on the right hand. Is he on the low tide in Belito? Davy Fonsell, two-turn combo. That first one was a good crack in the top corner. That will have set the tone for that wave. And that was already wave number five for Davy Fonsale. Mendes is the heat leader as we start to catch up scores. Here goes the Tahitian. This is one of those waves that might grow and give opportunity again. Two-turn combination. Kind of answering back to a wave of Davy Fonsale's. That, that 10,000 points, you know, you really got four more events to try and garnish the rest. The problem is you get to the two QS 10,000s in Hawaii. There's one thing waiting for you, a whole bunch of Hawaiians. Mm. And of course, a couple, a couple of championship tour surfers to challenge yep. you as well. Exactly. So we're not saying that Belito's easy pickings. No, we do say it's a very useful event when it comes to the qualifying series. And that is, of course, the theme here in South Africa. Talking of South Africans, Davy Fonsale, local interest will have the beach. 
chanting. I think uh, with tough conditions, uh, it brings the best out of us, out of everyone. You know, even Jody got a nine today. and Look enough to find one, two, and just happy to be in the next round. And tomorrow should be pumping. <laughs> yeah, you're currently lying 68th on the world tour. That's definitely going to change after this event. So uh, you're doing definitely doing a do good job. And um, yeah, there's nothing to talk about much of your surfing. You're doing an incredible job. So uh, just something random. And then, you know, we'll, we'll throw it away in some easy ones. So well, let's have a look here at Marco Giorgi as we continue in Heat 10. I'm just looking at those gray scars out the back. Talking of up and down, that's going to be the story of the weather this afternoon. The form counts for nothing. The conditions are completely different. A whole different day. And that's the nature of this qualifying series. Well, there are surfers that are finding points in the lineup. This is Jesse Mendez, opened with the 503. Lovely combination there. Good flow from him. Little sort of semi punch there as he exits that wave number five of his. The surfers are keeping busy in the lineup here. As we look through the circular lens, and now moving in on O'Neill Mason. Current heat leader with a pair of five, Scotty. So, you know, you look at the point spread, it's barely over into the double digits. Of course, still eight minutes to go. Anything can happen, and often it does towards the back end of the heat. Well, down in third is the South African in this heat. Let's go over a good rip here, does young Davy van Sale. Of course, this South African out of him, Schlanger Rocks. He's got a couple of nice results at Sunset Beach in the past. He's no stranger to powerful right-handers. He's going to need a wall with a little bit more power than that, Scotty. Hi, oh, Linda will be on the edge of his seat for his local boy. Look at this little backdoor one for O'Neill Masson. Well, big bowl here on the sandbar. Now gives a pocket to O'Neill. Couple of slashes. And that one's gone a little bit broken on the inside. The Tahitian bashes away, trying to defend that second place position. I like that topic. We can talk that down some more. Here goes uh, Marco Giorgi. Fair way ahead of Davy Fonsale in the rankings at the moment, but of course he bowed out in the last round, so Davy's going to have to get through a couple more to make sure he gets those points, and here's his chance. Oh. Davey uses the priority just to block Jesse Mendes, which makes no sense. I think that also may be it's a little bit of the sort of maybe a blind approach to the heat. As Jesse Mendes just does his best Scott Turnbull impersonation with that takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Freestone commencing with the round of 48, his heat number three it was. So we've soldiered quite far. And with that, Jesse Mendes is going to make his way here to the beach. Looks like no fuss, no foul. Jesse Mendes and O'Neill Masson are going to get the advancing slots. It's going to be at the expense of Davy Fonsale and Marco Giorgi.